Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episodes 9 and 10 of The Sopranos. What'd you think of the last two episodes? As always, great. <laughs> um, we've discussed that this season just seems a lot darker yeah. than previous seasons. Um, and I feel like there's just been a ton of setup for what's to come. We've received so many comments and messages about how kind of the back half of the season is just incredible. So I'm really excited to get into these episodes. Yeah, the last two episodes were definitely dark. This show continues to paint everyone in like a bad light so that you don't get too comfortable or attached with some of these characters because the reality is, is they're all bad people doing bad things. We're just living in their world for right now. I expect the rest of the season and the series to just keep getting darker and darker, but I'm still super excited to see what happens. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm enjoying every second of yeah. it. So I'm excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episodes. Do not discuss the case among yourselves or with anyone else, including me. I wonder if they're going to be able to get to this jury. Toronto, Allison Pat, Channel 6. Allison, oh! Oh! Toronto! Oh. Oh. mob boss, Corrado Soprano just fell. Wow, he didn't fall, he got pushed. Yeah, what? How's our Royal Highness in there? Oh. Bring Carmela to see Pio Mai? Yeah. What is that, a goat? Yeah, that's so friend. Emotional support goat. Right. Bust a heart to win. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Whoa. Yeah, what a shot. Damn. That was far. He said they'll do this every hour. Check the neurological. He was disoriented when he came in. Dementia for quite a while, and the blow to the head tipped him over. Whoa. Listen, good chance this could all go away. That's crazy. Columbia Presbyterian head trauma unit, the best. <laughs> Rude. Wow. That'd be Polly told Johnny. It was Polly. Who was there when I told the Ginny sack joke? Everyone. It was little Polly. He told Polly. Polly tells Johnny. I mean, that's exactly what happened. Want to play phone games? Uh oh. The only time I ever mentioned Shamu's fat ass. Richie. <laughs> Ralphie. <laughs> Ralphie. <laughs> uh, retirement home, something. Oh, is he gonna use his mom? Oh, maybe. I'd like to talk to a Mrs. Galtieri. She's a resident there. Oh, oh, this oh my God, it's late. Might be crossing the line. Oh, clap on. <laughs> Hi, this is Detective Mike Hunt, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania Police Department. Mike Hunt. Oh my God, what happened? He was sucking a Cub Scout stick. <laughs> small rodent in the rectal passage. Oh, man. We'll need an insurance number. I have Blue Cross Blue Shield. Is that all right? Man, just messing with his mom. And she's going to tell everybody. <laughs> I mean, he already got in trouble telling jokes. There's no way this is not going to get him in trouble. Guess who came in earlier? Tommy Formacola. Tommy Formacola died a few years ago. Oh, man. Is Junior really messed up? Not Tommy. It's Chidrula's son, Tommy. Oh. Glad you're feeling better. Better. This is Xanadu compared to that courtroom. <laughs> Milking this thing for all it's worth. <laughs> Maybe you're not milking it enough. Oh, play it up. What's going on? What's going on? Back here in the States, I think we got a mistrial. Mistrial? The bow is meant to find the ring. Dick. Oh, is this a real arrow? Yeah. Whoa. Mr. Ross, come, please. Help. What? Oh, no. They're definitely hit with an arrow. Justin, he's got a very bad. I don't know. Oh. I, I got to get help. Someone call 911. Oh my god. Who the hell's Justin? And any breath in his lungs for five minutes, so uh, there was no oxygen to the brain. Oh my god. Oh, it was an accident, all right? Just kids. Is Ralph pissed at that other kid? It looked like it. It's my ex-husband, Justin's biological father. Ronnie, I, I, I don't know what happened. No, nothing's ever your fault. It's actually his kid? Yeah. Please! We were just fooling around! Just fooling around! Well, stop! Holy crap, this is such a messy situation. I'm glad Tony's there. If the court finds you lack fitness to proceed, the trial will be suspended. Wow! All you gotta do is act two bots. Crazy like a fox, my little nephew. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. This is so lucky that he fell down the stairs. Damn, like the stark differences in these scenes. Both medical related. I don't know what to do. I know. So happy to see her. 
That was really nice of her. Yeah, right? I apologize. It's okay. You were so strong when Jackie Jr. passed away. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be a vegetable. Oh my gosh. I told him he should go and talk to Father and Tintola. He should. Is it true he took an overdose of sleeping pills? Apparently. Oh, how'd that get out? Tony, you're on the outs, but Tony's not talking. Everyone so fake. Right? Everyone's so fake. What is today's date? A blonde with big tits and a hat full of Viagra. <laughs> That works. Give the subject a piece of paper. Ask him to draw a circle. Maybe you should just wipe your ass with the paper, then they'll know you're a whack job. Can't go too far. I lived my whole life with dignity. Now I gotta pretend I'm a fucking drooling idiot. Suppose it doesn't work. We'll go after a juror. Svetlana, I've been wanting to talk to you. I should never have taken your prosthesis. Yeah, no shit. You did bring me to the Lord. Ah, you're a boring woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is Branka. She is a registered nurse. What's your problem now? Like anyone would care. What? Why are you suddenly crying? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. How are you doing? Oh, wow. What am I doing here? God understands. I've done things in my life that I shouldn't have done. He's making my son pay for it. It's definitely weird to see Ralphie in this position. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean about Ralph. To see him like that, and Justin hooked up to those machines. Oh, as AJ walks in. Huh? Come on, tough guy. Jesus. What's happening? This episode's affecting everyone. Yeah. I mean, he's just a kid. How's Justin? Let him know it's too soon to tell. Off from the thing. I could have waited. I had to smack the guy around this morning. Probably felt nice. At least I'm good for something. To do something? Yeah. I mean, you know he loves that stuff. <laughs> Violence? Yeah. You know where I was on his seventh birthday? So high on Coca. I forgot to call him. I'm a different man. My poor baby. Now he has nothing but time to just reflect on how bad he's been. Whatever it takes, he's gonna get the best care there is. Look, I don't want you to hear it to the grapevine. Especially now. Can you tell him about Valentina? Seeing that girl you used to date. This is like the worst time. Valentina. I gotta go to the hospital. Tony's just feeling guilty. But that wasn't helpful. Well, Tony has no intention of it being helpful for him. Give my best to Camilla. She's, uh, she's been a great help. Maybe if I met a girl like Camilla, I, my life could have taken a whole different trajectory. Was that a shot or? Very interesting. Like, uh, yeah, oh, you're with my girl? I wish I was with your girl. When some perspective for Tony. Right. Like, what are you doing? Ooh. Nothing between those two, huh? I don't care if he's got a hundred kids in the ICU with arrows in their heads. Call Myra at the home. I had to put her on Xanax just so she could sleep. Oh. She was in the hospital unit for an hour and a half with nervous bowel syndrome. I get proof it was him. He's a fucking corpse. You lay a hand on him and you're going to answer to me. If yeah, what the fuck, Polly? That was a terrible thing. Whoever did it. I'm going to go pay my respects. She'd love that. That was good. Like, lay down the law and then soften it up. He has no fucking conception. He's got no kids. I'm just curious if they're ever going to find out that Polly is the one who keeps talking to New York. We pledge allegiance to the... United States of America. Oh, great. Who was the president before George Bush? John Kennedy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, I can't find Ralph. Uh-oh. There was a fire. Fire. Oh, my God. We did everything we could, but she had to be destroyed. She was too badly burned. What? Oh, shit. Did Ralphie really do this? No. I just assume maybe for revenge for Tony sleeping with that girl? No. Fire marshal says it looks electrical. They'll investigate, but it's a formality considering the value of the stock. Value? Does Ralphie collect a ton of insurance money? Maybe. I'm sure a lot of people had their horses there. Oh. Damn. I mean, I guess it's hard to move a horse, but this is brutal. Aww. Goat lost his friend. I feel like Ralphie's already on the edge. That's some bad news. Bye, oh my. She was in a fire. She's dead. So we had the horses, too. Jesus. This is a weird reaction. Yeah. I just made some coffee and want you know, eggs. 
It's like, I feel like that wasn't that extreme of a reaction, but Tony already took over this horse a long time ago, pretty much. Ralphie's already kind of distanced himself. True. And I mean, Ralphie didn't have the same, like, love for this horse that Tony did. Well, kid will have to learn how to talk all over again, years in rehab. Lois said the horse was still alive. It looks accidental. What well, sick fuck would do something like that on purpose, huh? Tony is definitely suspect. Oh, yeah. 200 grand in insurance on the race coming up. Suddenly there's a fire. What are you saying? Oh. What are you, a fucking arson investigator now? Come on. They said it was an accident, right? Oh. Maybe I will have some eggs. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know. How's Corky Iannucci? You know, still used him in that restaurant fire. Oh. You cooked that fucking horse alive. No, I did not! My kid's in the fucking hospital! It was a fucking horse! He eat beef and sausage by the fucking Carlo! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! oh. This might go to the end. Rain? In the eyes? You killed her, you fucking killed her! Oh, God. Oh, Ralphie's gone. Jeez. What the hell? That is not how I thought Ralphie's end would be. Christopher, you have to clean up a body now. Hello, it's me. You got three minutes. Oh. Well, that's great. Who'd you have a fucking hour ago? Hey, Adriana put my keys where I couldn't find them. Get two pairs of surgical gloves, some bleach. Can't believe he only fell asleep for 30 minutes. I know, right? I thought it'd be hours or something. What's going on? Oof, he looks rough. Which one? <laughs> Christopher. Oh. I found him like this. Oh, sure. Tony, look at you. Whoever did this should happen a long time ago. Especially after this whole conversation with Polly. Why do we have to get rid of the body? We got enough light shining on shit. No body, no murder. Yeah, but don't they have like people that do this? I would assume so, but kind of running out of people. Or is he only gonna let Christopher know? Maybe. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Don't lie to me. You're high. You literally just lied to Christopher. Jesus fucking Christ, can you even do this? Probably not. He was a captain, T. It's the biggest turn. Gonna lecture me now, huh? Christopher has no filter right now either. Right. Up, up. Get the fucking mop. Get him draining. Yeah, I mean, Tony had that whole conversation with Paulie, like, you don't touch him. This is a business. And then he comes in here and kills him. I believed him. That he didn't do it? Yeah. He might not have. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no way! Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be a slow process with a butcher knife like that. I mean, look at this shit with Justin. What fucking ruined your life? Well, Tony just killed his dad, so... About this. I came over. He was still moaning. He died almost right away. He's really trying to play it off like it wasn't him? Like, look at him. Time to sink a body. I feel like you should put all that weight on him downstairs. Oh! Fuck. It's the bowling ball. Yeah. The bowling ball. It's like the identifying parts. I guess so. The hands and the head. Yeah, I guess it's too much effort to chop up the whole body. Kind of assumed it was like for transfer purposes, but I guess that makes sense. They just don't want him to be identified. This is a mess. Yeah. Like these are two are not professionals. You gotta take that curtain also. Crime must have been so much easier when everyone didn't have cameras and... Every house didn't have a ring doorbell. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. I wonder what they did with the... The head yeah. and the hands. I don't know. Maybe a different location? Maybe. Or they just like torch it? Oh no, here you go. Bury it. Interesting. I'm not even far from the road. Oof. Ground's hard. A little frozen. Can you walk by this thing? Ah. Damn, Christopher. Okay. You know how to use it? Oh, it yeah, I think he's trying. What are you doing? 
You drive it. Get out! Come on! Get out! Get out! Just screaming directions at him. What I'm talking about? That shit fucks up your hand-eye coordination. Or maybe he's never used a tractor. I mean, this was lucky that this was just chilling right here. Not very deep. No. And wouldn't you want it not in the bag so that it maybe, like, decomposes? I mean, the bag probably will disintegrate, too. That's true. She used the shovel now. Here's the problem. People could take it the wrong way. Friends of ours. Like it could happen to them. Oh, if the captain can be killed, doesn't look great on Tony. You're the only other one that knows about it. Damn, in a pretty quick span of time, he took his horse, took his girl, and took his life. But yeah, do something, Junior. Do something different. Can I have some ice cream? Right there. Okay. <laughs> You'll catch cold, come on. I was getting the paper. You'll catch cold. Did you have waited till I got the ice cream? <laughs> it's your fault. You forgot to get the newspaper this morning. Was that real? No. His eyes still look pretty bad. Yeah. Was that the girl? Yeah. The fuck? Where is he? Maybe he went to go get food or something? Tony doesn't even have a car, right? No, yeah, they were using Christopher's car. Oh. Oh, whoa, that's how you end? This is Christopher. Come on, man. Oh. oh my god. Is he just gonna kill the dog? Look out! Here he comes! What the fuck? Where's Furio? Well, you couldn't get a flight out of Rome in time, so I'm driving again today. Disappointment. So disappointed. <laughs> this guy is probably like, uh, okay. <laughs> She yeah. doesn't offer him anything. You get nothing. No oh, coffee, I gotta go, okay? Oh, she chopped all her hair. Yeah. Makes you look younger. Jenny's waiting for you. I gave her a compliment. I mean, she had to fish for it. <laughs> you gonna be able to take care of a kid when you're killing dogs on the couch? Where's the dog? You shut the TV? Christopher! She's not breathing! Oh my god! He's dead! Oh. She must have crawled under there for warmth. Are you fucking crazy? You sat on her. I'll get you another dog. I don't want another dog. How many terrible things can these guys do? Uh, UPS. Oh, is it the portrait of the horse? Oh, forgot about the painting. Great. Gotta send him to rehab. Get rid of that fucking picture. Burn it. I never want to see the fucking thing again! Yeah, it reminds him of a dead horse and then of his murder. Furio back? All these American flags. It's Tony. Am I wrong? Honestly. I don't know. Uh-oh. Happened that fast of people already being suspicious of Tony? Whack Ralph over a fucking horse. That guy be the first guy online to pull his fucking plug. Holy cow. That happened so fast. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I hated Ralphie too, but his son's gonna need a lot of financial support yeah. for the rest of his life, and Tony just took that away. Come in, come in, he's getting dressed. These two. <laughs> I, I wait in the car. Oh, well, welcome back. What about the hair? I bring presents. You just made some coffee, you sure? Thank you, but I wait in the car. Ah, oh, you didn't compliment her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Me though. Why are you opening it? Why are you opening them? What the hell? It was really sweet. Yeah. Oh, just for the kids? He said the adults get wine. I think she wanted one for herself. Then for you. Mano you. Said for my father. You gotta get over it. Real nice, Tony. <laughs> and then you're crying? Your response to sadness is usually rage, not humor. You kick it up to 80 for a week, and you duck back down to 40 before the limp dick thing shuts you. You a pharmacist? <laughs> you a doctor? 
You haven't grieved in this way for people. Your mother, your best friend. Can't I just be sad, 40 and shit? You're not a therapist. My wife prays to God. What kind of God does this shit? What's the matter, Adriana? You and Christopher arguing? Her dog died. Yeah. He's fucking stoned on H all the time, okay? Convince him he needs help, that he should be in rehab. Oh no, this is gonna trigger. Tom Malden's nose heads look like fucking BX cable. <laughs> Voicemail again. Chrissy, we're down here waiting for the TV. Oh, for Chrissy? Still no word from Rock. They're gonna put it together. I mean, they already kind of have. 500. Yeah, wrap it up. The fuck out the cop. Oh. You know who the fuck I'm with? You ain't no fucking cop. Fuck you gonna do with that, bitch? Stick it up your mother's twat. <laughs> Great. Now you're getting yourself in that situation. I'm talking about Justin here. Sorry, I was thinking about my mother. Her skin condition. Damn, everyone's messed up. Did I forget to take that out? What's wrong with you? What was that? I don't know. Maybe it keeps the inside, like, open. You can stuff it. There was a fire at the stable. Should they be destroyed? You should have seen her. String beans, Hugh? Yeah, this isn't, like, exactly dinner yeah. conversation. Hazelden? What's this? Rehab. Recovery? What? Give him to a freaking FBI. Yeah. Then took money out of her purse. But he doesn't have any money. Classy peach like this? Yeah, I think it was Tony said he wanted it burnt for you. I'll take it home. You're gonna take this? Like the hang his picture in my house. Oh my god, if Tony goes into Polly's house, yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna find that. What's the matter? Oh, did she go? Oh. What happened? Your nephew. Little prick. I'm gonna wring his fucking neck. Where is he? He's been using drugs. I don't know what to do. God, this is gonna be an all-out war. Maybe he needs to be in rehab. You can hire someone to do an intervention, apparently. We're a family here. Your family sucks. Yeah, you should be helping him. Take it easy. Let me figure out how to handle this. Please don't hurt him. What? Break his legs. This is weird as hell. Yeah, right? Oh, you have plastic furniture? Why am I always having to come? <laughs> now wait till you see how a mirrored backsplash can amplify your room. Mirrored backsplash? I'm like a visitor in my own town. There is nothing there for me now. You know, special someone? Maybe I should never have come to America. Damn, it's like he doesn't have a home. You've got a wonderful home, a girlfriend. No. No? What do you mean, no? There is no communication, like with some people. Oh, yeah. So why did you come back? Yeah, well, I got stuff to do. I told you. That's why you're there, AJ. Well, I better get going. Thank you very much for the vinegar. I'm glad she's back. <laughs> Want some wine? From Furio's uncle in Italy? <laughs> I saw one. He needs ice. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the Bloomberg. I wonder what she's studying. Whatever excuse to be in the bottle. What do you mean? What excuse? Well, you're, uh... Um... Come on, you know that, uh... Oh, my leg. I don't think of it right away. This girl does all the work for you. What are you doing, Polly? Heroin. A dog you love catches rabies. You put it out of its misery, Anthony. Damn, Junior. Straight to murder? The feds get him in this condition. Who knows what he's liable to say? But all the more reason to clean him up. If it were anybody else. Does nobody like the wine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Me with the competency hearings. You with the head shrinkers. This one in rehab now. Yeah, you guys all have your problems. They give me some vinegar, but I don't think it was meant for me. Carmella, you sound like you're 15 years old. <laughs> I feel so guilty all the time. Jackie going in the hospital to get me to stop. Wow. He looks at me like I'm beautiful. It's those few minutes when we see each other, I live for those. I'm glad she's talking to someone. I mean, I trust Ro. Yeah. <laughs> Non-judgmental confrontation. So he's taking advice from a two-time loser. Why are you here, Polly? I think I'm gonna have the medallions of you. Okay, that's a great conversation. 
Well, I cut you in at a friendship, but that's over, John. You got nothing coming to you. you sure you want to go down this road, Tony? Damn, that left the table pretty quickly, Polly. Napoleon and his horse, that kind of thing. He's rather portly to be Napoleon. <laughs> like Napoleon. That's so weird. I know. They're gonna what happened to Ralph. And if I'm right, he ain't coming back. Oh, is he gonna blame it on New York? It was New York. Johnny Sack? A fat joke. Sure, that didn't help. I wonder if Polly's gonna panic. He should. I want a full investigation. Nobody makes a move till we know what happened. Wow, that's a great way to spin it. Yeah. What's going on? Have a sheet. Stole all those pork lines. Yeah, but that's not why I'm here today. <laughs> Christopher, we're here to talk about your drug problem. What? You've been told once. Now sit down. You've had like 10 million chances, Christopher. This might be your last one. We made love all the time because of the drugs. Jesus, is this fucking necessary? You can no longer function as a man. Oof. Last week when I came home to learn that you had killed our dog. You killed the dog? Oh, Tony loves innocent animals. He sat on the wall, he was high. She got suffocated or something. I didn't even think of how Tony would react to that. You killed little Cosette. I gotta suffocate you, you little prick. Non-judgmental zone. <laughs> That's hard. Here you were with your head half in the toilet. Your hair was in the toilet water. Disgusting. Disgusting. You were high at my mother-in-law's wake. My mother's wake. Jesus Christ. Hey, Tony, you might need to step out for a minute. You out of control, and you become an embarrassment to yourself and everybody else. We're supposed to be non-judgmental. Non-judgmental? Fuck that. The way you fucking eat, you're gonna have a heart attack? Oh. Maybe someone will smack some goddamn sense into him. Fuck you, you fucking whore. Oh, it's your mom? Oh, oh. well, that went as good as I imagined. The man has a hairline skull fracture. We'll admit him. Keep him overnight. Skull fracture? Is Sylvia okay? Yeah, Sylvia took a crash to that table. You go on every fucking session and you're going to keep your mouth shut. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? How did I fucking get to this? Drugs, man. I mean, Tony's not lying. If it would have been anyone else, they just would have been dead. Is he driving you to drink? I can drive myself. Tony, don't do something stupid. Every time he's in a room with a woman. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about you? Here it goes. You have everything, and still you complain. You got too much time to think about yourselves. Man, she's hitting him hard with some truth. You should see yourself now. You're beautiful. <laughs> Okay, well, that did not take long. <laughs> she just came back, like, last episode. I do not get it. <laughs> so you call me later? No phone calls for the first two weeks. House rules. Damn. That's pretty normal. Two weeks? Congratulations. You got here, dude. That's the hardest part. Yeah, most people don't make it that far. Cigarettes are okay, right? Cigarettes are fine. No chocolate allowed. Oh. oh. No chocolate? I wonder if that's the last we'll see of him for the rest of the uh, season. Maybe. What to do? I didn't expect you so soon. Is that the first girl who rejected Tony, even though she initially accepted him? I feel like Carmela's gonna give in. You think? Like, I think it's gonna be her. Carmela! Oh. It's well, not home. Well, all right. Why is she at a hotel? Maybe there's like a restaurant there? Or maybe she lied. I think she's lying. Is this pasta for two? It doesn't really seem like Furio's aware that she's coming over, if she is. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Silent. She's getting a peek at everyone. That is still Tony's face. <laughs> Just with a different uniform. <laughs> I feel like the hand is very small. Wow, okay. All right, that was episode nine and 10 of The Sopranos. What'd you think? What a wild couple of episodes. Those were definitely insane. Ralphie. 
losing Ralphie was not expecting that. No. I honestly thought the bond between Ralphie and Tony was slightly improving to a certain degree, but that was insane. I think these two episodes really pushed hard on how much of a hypocrite Tony is. Yeah. Obviously, we'll go through a bunch of examples, but the biggest one is like Tony telling Polly, this is a business, like you don't act like this out of just emotion. And as shitty as Ralphie is, obviously disgusting human, but for the situation that he was in, especially with his son and the type of care that his son would need, it seemed like it dramatically changed Ralphie to a certain degree. And we never got confirmation really if it was Ralphie or not who killed the horse. It's weird to say, but even then, like that horse is Ralphie's horse. Tony just kind of stole it, but it's it's not like it was Tony's horse to begin with and like Ralphie went and killed it. So it's just this interesting connection that Tony has with like the innocence of animals, yet he'll just slaughter people left and right and not shed a tear about it. But for him to tell Polly like, don't be emotional. And then for him to be emotional over a horse and just kill Ralphie without full evidence, that was crazy. Yeah, I believe Ralphie when he says that he didn't set the fire. Obviously, we learn there's like insurance money involved and it seemed kind of suspect after Tony let him know about Valentina as well, which was such a weird time to get that off his chest. I think you had a great comment in that when it was like, why would Tony do this? This is not going to make Ralphie better. But you said something like, Tony didn't do it for Ralphie. He did it for himself because yeah. he was guilty and he wanted to make himself feel better. And I feel like that's so perfectly Tony. Yeah. He will do whatever he wants to do if it makes him feel good or feel better, regardless of how it affects other people. Absolutely. And it was crazy how quickly it came back around to Tony. Christopher kind of mentioned it, thinking that if people start to find out, like this isn't gonna look good for you, either someone could just come in and take out one of Tony's captains or that Tony would so easily take out one of his captains. Yeah, regardless, it looks terrible. Yeah. It's like, how can someone kill one of your captains without you knowing? Yeah. Terrible. Or how can you kill one of your captains without any sort of like by the books type of situation? Right, and obviously word got out about Pyomai. Christopher brought it up when they were in the bathroom with uh, Ralphie's body. So everybody was aware of Pyomai. Then the painting arrives, which is like more of like a red flag on how much Pyomai meant to him. Right. And then how he reacted to the painting. Like it was just all a snowball. And the fact that the guys are sitting at Artie's having dinner, maybe that same night, even the next day. And they're immediately like, it looks like it was Tony. It is getting so aggressive in how disgusting everyone on this show is. Yeah. I mean, it's it's escalating. I think we've discussed it before. We've seen a ton of comments about it too. In the beginning, there was a lot more balance. They were doing these horrible things, but then the show would still find a way to kind of humanize them a little bit more, which was interesting because I feel like they kind of did that in this episode with Ralphie, um, with his son. Yeah. And they kind of do that with Tony when it comes to animals and his love for them. And it just brings out this like little glimmer of like innocence in the way that he feels about animals. Right. But I mean, they're all just horrible people. It's like, I'm hating Polly a lot more recently. Me too. But it's like hard to disagree with Polly's comment in the bada bing to be like, he could have a thousand sons in the ICU and I wouldn't care about this person. Yeah. It's like, that's a terrible way to put it, but it is easy to see like Ralphie crying at the hospital bed of his son and you'd be like, oh my God, this sucks for Ralphie. And for a moment, it makes you forget like Ralphie beat a pregnant woman to death. Yeah. He is horrible and scum, a disgusting person. So the show does a great job of giving you these little moments. And then you also have other characters like calling out those moments, how everyone was like, why can't you have some sympathy for Ralphie, Polly? And then Polly's like, why would I have sympathy for him? He's a terrible person. Yeah, it's more like having sympathy for his son. His right. son didn't do anything besides just being a dumb kid, but he didn't deserve 
to literally be maybe brain dead. And I feel like you need something like that in order to balance out how terrible everyone's getting. Like yeah. you can't have it be like, oh, one of Ralphie's gumas or whatever got hit by a truck or something. You're gonna be like, okay, whatever. But to see like a brand new innocent, like we never even knew Ralphie had a kid. No. I don't think so. Like you need just this pure innocence just to balance out the pure evil just to kind of bring you to a spot where for a second you can feel bad for a character. Yeah. It's getting really bad in terms of how much you can hate everyone in this show. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because I I love this show. Like oh, I'm yeah. enjoying it so much, but you really, like you're not rooting for anybody. There's just nothing positive left in this world to even root for. It's like, I keep thinking in my head, the most like, non-aggressive or peaceful happy thing is this love affair between Carmela and Furio and even that is gonna end up with with Furio probably dying. You know it's just gonna be bad like you're just like waiting for this like train wreck to happen but at the same time it's like sweet moments because now we like for sure know that it's like a totally mutual thing the fact that carmela is having to bring aj over all of it and she even opened it up to roe which was a lot which i mean roe is honestly one of the few characters on this show that i feel like you can like right but then also you had a little moment there of finding out that roe was having an affair and the only reason she stopped it was because her husband ended up in the hospital. Right. So it's like even Ro, we're like, oh, Ro's so nice. And then bang, you get hit with a conversation of like, yeah. yeah, I was cheating on him. But once he got sick, I stopped. It's just like, come on, show, Give me anyone to root for. Like, what's Meadow up to or something? <laughs> example after example with Tony being a hypocrite and becoming way more aggressive. It's doing it so fast now. Like when Furio was crying and Tony was just like, get over it. And then it hard cuts to Tony crying about the horse that wasn't even his horse. Yeah, at Dr. Melfi's office. And she's like, uh. How they're doing the intervention and they're supposed to be non-judgmental. And Tony got way more upset when he found out that Christopher killed a dog than he did that he beat Adriana. Yeah, I mean, Adriana came to their house and she didn't want Christopher to get hurt, but she like wanted like assistance in getting him into rehab or something of some sort. And yeah, he went along with the getting him into rehab and doing the intervention, but it's like, she's literally here crying with a black eye right in front of you and- He was like, well, let me figure out, let me calm down, let, let me figure this out and stuff. Yeah. But he's like, dog, I should kill you right now for a dog. Yeah. It's just, it's funny. I mean, we do similar things too. Like- I was thinking about that. You watch a movie and it's like, you watch like The Thing or something. Spoiler alert for The Thing, it's like, oh no, a dog dies and you're like devastated. And then you watch a bunch of humans get murdered. And it's like, that was fun. <laughs> so- Yeah, I mean, it always hits you harder when it's an animal, but I feel like it does come back to that like innocence factor. Yeah. Um, and especially on this show, like they're all like horrendous people. So when bad things happen to them, like you're not as like attached, I guess. Whereas with like Pyomai, like, the fact that she even survived like the fire and was like so burned, like the whole thing is just so horrific. And you just think of like the innocence, like, you know, she's locked in this stable and can't get away and all yeah. of that, where most of the people that are getting it on this show have done something. Um, obviously everything that happened with Ralphie was, I mean, he's done a lot of horrible, horrible yeah. things, but what led up to what actually ended up killing him was kind of like a, if you really just pinpoint into that one thing, it would have been like, whoa. Yeah, I mean, it's like essentially Ralphie died because of a horse. Yeah. When you could have picked a million different other things that affected other humans. Exactly. And, but this is what made Tony snap. So it's just real interesting character development for everyone. It just seems that everyone is developing into shittier and shittier people. Yeah. I think that that cover up with New York was huge. That was a great spin for sure. Yeah. And I think it might work, especially because New York is mad now. Uh, Tony set that boundary and I think it is going to come back. I think we're going to see some kind of blow up from it. 
with either Carmine or with Sack, but I do think everyone had their suspicion. I just think that this is gonna overshadow it because there actually is an issue. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it was a great move by Tony for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to play out successfully and it may also flush out Polly. Yeah. Polly's face during that scene, like I couldn't stop looking at him. Yeah, I wanted to see what he was gonna do. Yeah, he was like New York, like he started to panic. And especially because Tony brought up the the real estate deal, yep. which the only reason they knew about that was because of Polly. So Polly's like panicking now, like, oh shit, they took out Ralph, which obviously Polly wanted that to happen anyways, but right. they took out Ralph because of information that I gave. Yeah. So I kind of hope it flushes out Polly again, because it's hard to like root for anything, but I'm kind of rooting for Tony to like discover Polly's betrayal. Yeah. These last couple of episodes or seasons. Yeah. Can you really call it betrayal or is he just stupid? I don't, I don't know. know. He seems pretty vindictive. Polly used to be like one of my favorites on the show. Yeah. Like he just seemed like he was so loyal and- He was always smart and making the right decisions yeah. and loyal and like, as this show goes on, it just deteriorates characters. Yeah. I still really like Adriana. She deserves way better than Christopher. Yeah. Even I've given Christopher like a million chances for him to impress me. If he does the slightest positive thing, I'll like heap praise onto it. I don't know if I can do that anymore. If he does anything negative to Adriana, I'm already at the point where Adriana should just fucking give him to the FBI. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm over him. I'm done with it. Obviously he has an addiction issue and now he's in rehab. I hope that that helps and fixes things and he comes back from it, but the abuse factor is not really something that I can get past. I want so much more for her because she is like one of the few people in the show that seems like good. Right. Obviously she's made mistakes as well along the way, but nothing like these guys have. No, it's pretty much Adriana and Bobby are like your only two good souls left. I know, and every time Janice is around Bobby, I'm like, beat it. <laughs> Janice. <laughs> She was randomly crying at some point too. I have no idea what that was about. No, I, she was just all upset about the Russian not giving two shits about what she said. <laughs> That's like, right. she just isn't getting the attention that she needs. That's true. So yeah, I mean, I guess technically Christopher has like one more chance to come out of this rehab clean and actually treat Adriana well, or actually be like capable of taking on the responsibility that Tony wants to give him. Huge. I think if he comes out of this and isn't successful in his sobriety, I don't think Tony's gonna kill him, but he might fully cut him off. Yeah. I think Junior brings up a good point too. It's just like someone like that, they could flip at any moment. Yeah. And he's just putting himself in such bad situations. Yeah, and obviously they don't know, but the FBI is like talking to Adriana and they now know that he does have a heroin addiction. She did let them know about that. Yeah, they might infiltrate that rehab place. Doubt that. I feel like that's a line that they maybe won't cross because I don't, I don't think they're gonna get enough out of it for it to be worth it, in my personal opinion. It's just so bad. I mean, these two episodes were amazing. I loved them, but it it is just continues to be just like, Oh fuck, this is rough. It's like almost like it takes it out of you like watching this show. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm definitely drained. I mean, to watch the demise of Ralphie. Uh, I called to, him Richie. <laughs> to Richie, Ralphie, they're essentially <laughs> the same person. To just see how much Tony just keeps deteriorating himself. Yeah. I mean, he has so many like burdens and responsibilities that he has to take care of, but it's just getting worse. I mean, his violence just keeps coming out and out and his circle of people that he can trust is like non-existent. No. I think of like the show as something interesting that a lot of your victims or your enemies, they're all just within the same crew yeah. most of the time. Yeah. Like, it's not like it's a rival gang or something or a different, like mafia crew that's coming from someone else. It might now with, with, New York. with New York, but it's always just been internal issues. And I find that so interesting that we can keep coming up with like extremely compelling storylines where they're just destroying themselves. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, for the most part, you you know, we've had a couple of innocent people here and there, but for the most part, it really is just like imploding. I don't think I was ever at the point where I could think that Carmela would make that leap 
but I might think differently now. I think she's going to. So even like something like that where I thought was like, oh, that will never happen. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, it, it might happen in this show. Yeah, so, for Furio's sake. For <laughs> Furio's sake, hopefully not. <laughs> so it, it's a lot of losses for the crew and for the family. It's always interesting. You know, I feel like some of these were like season ending type of episodes, yeah. but we still have three more episodes in this season. Yes. So I cannot wait to see how this plays out, especially with New York. I think that's going to be huge. Yeah. Maybe it will literally be nothing. I think that's the beauty of Sopranos. <laughs> you is never that know. You just never know what or when something's going to happen. Yeah. So that was fantastic. Yeah. Two really good episodes. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.